Steel Auto Drafter is a feature in STAD Pro that helps in generating drawings that can then be used as a preliminary or basic drawing for creating the fabrication and detailed drawings. Steel Auto Drafter will automatically produce 2D layouts, elevations, and projective views for a variety of structures. For example, portal frames, trusses, electric towers, and more. It also will automatically generate the steel material takeoff or MTO. The MTO can be created in a text file or drawing file format. So once we're done with the analysis in the model, we can go to our workflow tab and enter into Steel Auto Drafter. Once we're in Steel Auto Drafter, we have the ability to rotate our structure and look at it from the top view. We can view from the left hand side. We can view the structure from the front. So we can easily review the 3D model and decide where we want to create 2D drawings in Steel Auto Drafter. Let's talk about how to create grids. From the top view of the structure, we can see that we have a grid going alphabetically across in the X direction and numerically down in the Z direction. Let's open up the grid dialog box and we'll see by default a grid is automatically created at the center line of each column. So at each column center, a grid is automatically created. If we desire to create a grid point in between column lines, the grid manager will automatically list the positions of all the members present along the X and Z axes. So we can just select the coordinate position where we want to set the grid. In the physical modeler, we saw that the top cord was one single member. However, in the analytical modeler, it's broken into three individual members. If we automatically generate our drawings from the analytical model as it is, Steel Auto Drafter will draw the members as three separate segments. In Steel Auto Drafter, we can group the segments so that they will be drawn as one single member. To group members of the portal frame, we'll select a member on the frame and choose the section at x equal to zero. Once we're in the section view, at a particular section coordinate, we can see the different options available for grouping members in the frame. Now let's group the segments of the top cord. We will select all the segments of the member, right click to create our group, and then we'll see that we're asked whether we want to have purlins on this section. So now we can specify the section of the purlin. So we can choose the type of angle or channel that we want, and we can choose from the section list. Now let's create groups for our other top cord and bottom cord in the frame. Now that we've grouped the members in the frame, we can generate the drawings at that section. Select the member, right click, and choose Draw Section. The drawing settings has different scale options that are available. We also have the option to draw full sections or part sections. So let's select full section. Now we have the option to generate the drawing or add it to the drawing list. If we create a drawing list and close the application and reopen it, the drawing list will always be available at any point in time. So let's go ahead and generate our drawing. So we're going to get the elevation drawing, the schedule of steel sections, the material takeoff, and also a legend for the drawing. In the same way, we can create a drawing list with sections at the desired coordinate positions. We can see the drawing list that has been created and we can select only the drawings that are to be generated. Let's select the option to draw. Now the drawings were generated for all the members in the projected plane. Now let's choose the plan drawing option and view the structure from the top. From the top view, 
we can see that the horizontal bracing is below the roof level. So to generate a plan at the horizontal bracing level, we'll select the member, right click on it, and we'll choose the plan at 7,000 millimeters. Choose to create the drawing. Let's take a look at the horizontal bracing on this plan level, and we can see that from the text, and we can see that one of the bracing members is grouped together, the other is broken into two members. Now let's take a look at our section at z equal to zero. If we look at our vertical bracing, we can see when we have bracing that is ungrouped, it will be broken into two segments on the drawing, and the group bracing will be drawn as a continuous member. Let's take a look at a few drawings we generated for this model. We can see we have our elevation on grid A. Let's also take a look at the elevation drawing on grid 1 the plan drawing for the upper level, and finally the elevation drawing on grid 2.